Suppose you have a square that has a side length of 1. Then the diagonal line that cuts through the square has a length given by the square root of 2 by the Pythagorean theorem. Here's a related question. What if we start with a regular pentagon with side length 1? What's the length x of the diagonal cutting through this shape? Let's find out using a visual proof. First, we draw a second diagonal line like this, which creates this shaded isosceles triangle. When we draw another diagonal like this, we create a second triangle shaded in red that's a subtriangle of the blue triangle. Now if we consider the three pictured angles where the top one's labeled alpha, and we draw the circumscribed circle, we see that alpha is subtended by an arc, and so are the other two pictured angles with question marks. But all three of those arcs are exactly one-fifth of the entire circle, and therefore each of the angles must be alpha. This also means that the other angle that is in the blue triangle and the red triangle must be two times alpha. But now the four pictured angles give us the full measure of the triangle. So we see that five times alpha must be 180 degrees, and therefore alpha must be 36 degrees. But this then means that both of the pictured triangles, the blue and the red, have 36 degree angles and two 72 degree angles, and both of them are therefore isosceles triangles. But it turns out that we also see we have a third triangle shaded in green here. This triangle has two 36 degree angles, and therefore it is isosceles as well. Using the fact that these three triangles are isosceles, we can see that this side length here is 1, so that the short side length on the red triangle is x minus 1. But now we can use the fact that the two triangles shown, the red and the blue, are similar as they have exactly the same angle measurements. The fact that the two triangles are similar means that the ratio of their side lengths are equal, so that x divided by 1 must equal 1 divided by x minus 1. Now when we clear denominators, we get that x times x minus 1 equals 1, and this means that x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. This equation has two roots, and only one of them is positive, which is x equals phi, which is the golden ratio. Therefore, the length of the diagonal in this regular pentagon with side length 1 must be phi, the golden ratio. Here's a cool way to use this diagram. Let's suppose that the golden ratio is rational. That means that it can be written as a ratio of two integers, say a over b, and let's assume that this ratio is in lowest terms. The fact that phi equals a over b means that there is a regular pentagon like this, where the diagonal is length a and the side length of the pentagon is b. Once again, we can swing the side length down like this to see that the small subtriangle created inside the larger triangle, pictured here, must have length a minus b. But once again, these two triangles are similar, and therefore a over b must be equal to b over a minus b. But phi equals a over b, so that means phi equals b over a minus b. And this is a contradiction, because b is less than a, and a minus b is less than b. So this contradicts that we had phi in lowest terms when we wrote it as a over b. But that means our original assumption was wrong, so that the golden ratio phi cannot be written as the ratio of two integer values, and so the golden ratio is irrational.